I'm a reviewer. Let the reviews be joined. Hello everyone, your friend Don by here once again for another video review. As you can see, this is going to be a special little review. You've seen my previous video on you know, the Horus Optimus Prime where I reviewed him with his trailer and the little small little upgrade kit that I received where I got a clear roller with him. But this time we'll look at the KFC KP06 Year of the Horse Upgrade for Optimus Prime as you see him standing here holding. I recently got this from CapturedPrey.com. Uh, I paid like a little over $20 for it, about $25 I think it was, roughly with shipping and everything. Which part of me kind of regrets now because I've seen another, found this other website where I could have saved about 3 bucks on it. And, you know, it, you get what you get, you know, but it's still pretty cool. Uh, what this is, this kit is, it's basically, like everybody knows, it's the KFC or Keys Fantasy Club. Though it's, their name's changed now, I believe, or they're working to change it. Uh, it's an upgrade for him, for Prime, where he gets a more articulated hands and a bigger rifle. Nothing wrong with the rifle he had. We'll get to that here in just a minute, but, uh... Still pretty cool. I mean, a lot of a lot of people complain about the year of the horse prime. Uh, well, the some of the versions that have MP10 and that about his hands being not being articulated properly. We're going to look more detail at those here again here in just a moment. As you can see here, this has got the more articulated hands. But again, we'll look at it more closely here. Now, to do this, we're going to set this out of the way. There's a couple ways you can do it. Oh, also note on this, I'm only going to do one, one hand for this video. I don't want to take up too much time. I'm doing, um, doing both of them, so I'm just going to do just one hand. And we're going to do the right hand. A couple of things you, can, you need for that. One, of course, you need your year, the horse prime. Or the other ones, which this, going back to this real quick. Uh, sorry, bumped the camera there. Uh, you have the year, the horse version. This is the one I have. You also have the one for Prime or for the MP10, which is you got you have the T or the for the Takara version and the other version. There's also a fourth set with the uh, for the Nemesis Prime version. So you get you got you got one for every set. But to do this again, you need you need the upgrade kit and you need the Prime. You also will need one of these two sets. You can get these. I suggest if you get this set, you get it from Walmart or one of your other main department stores or whatnot. Do not get the Dollar General or cheap ones. They tend to not be as well good work for you as good as these can. I think you can go to Walmart and buy these for like three, two, three, four dollars, something like that, roughly, maybe five at the most. But you get a good little set. Or you can get you just the cheap little eyeglass repair kit these are actually more finite and I'm actually going to use this for this upgrade so I think you actually for this for one of these I think it's like maybe a dollar maybe dollar and a half to something like that at the most but you get your Phillips and you get your mini flathead we're going to need a Phillips for this one now to start off I'm going to do this the easy way I'm actually going to completely take this piece off uh, you use the Phillips and you just unscrew right here bear, bear with me just a second here I'm just trying to get this out when you pull this out special note also you see how small the screw is there you don't want to lose that that's kind of why I'm keeping this little extra kit here, I like to use the lid, you know, to place it in. But you'll notice also this will come out as well when you take that screw out. I'm only doing this to make it easier to visually show you. You just, well, you got to open this up first, and it just slides right out. We'll set some prime back here to the side. Next step, you want to get it. Uh, this screw right here right in there you'll have to you'll unscrew that which will loosen all this up to take the hand completely off the joint here um, 
Also, you don't want to lose this screw either, though the new one does have its own screw for it. You might want to not want to lose this one as well. So be very careful. I ain't quite got that out yet. Again, I'm just going to set it over that so I don't lose the screw. And you just pull that apart like so, which I apologize I didn't have that up on camera like I thought I did. Pull the hands off, and there's the old hand off. Not much to that at all. We're going to, I'm actually going to slide this back together because I want to show the difference really between this hand and the new one. Set this side right here. You try to adjust this just a hair. I'm kind of doing it a little bit higher and lower than I mean to. But we'll just pull this kit out. And again, we're working with the right hand. So we're going to get the right hand out of the package here. And here's, here's the difference, as you can see. The hand... Well, let's get the. I want to slide this thumb over so we can get that a little bit better. So I'm going to set them side by side. Yeah, as you can see, they are a little. The the new one's just a little bit, not very much, just a little bit bigger. And the palm wise, the fingers, as you can see on the old one, are articulate. Or excuse me, the, all all the old new ones all articulate. All the fingers are got all the joints. Where the old one didn't have that with the, these three fingers and this one it just had that one little bit of articulation the thumb there was none there at all other than the sliding up and down actually to take that back the thumb it didn't have no articulation at all so it's a good improvement compared with this one having its articulation very cool also on this side of it I'm not sure how well this one's going to come out on camera because it's so Dark. You can see it does have a small peg hole in there for the gun. Same with the, the new one. So it does keep that. Now, for this one, you do the same thing except you can see here on the back of the palm or the back of the right underneath the fingers, there's a little piece here that you want to pop off, which I won't try to do here. You might have to use a, oh, there it goes, get that from this side. You see here, you put, slide that piece off, and you can see where it, it basically just uh, covers up the ball joints there for the, the new hand. Next step, just like before, <coughs> excuse me, you want to get to this screw here, and you unscrew it. get this all the way on same thing here be very careful because you don't want to lose this screw I just set that there all the way and also on this one also be very mindful of the extra fingers there because you could knock them off in the process of sliding this apart which I'm just going to do it just a very easy and slowly just to get it there. Let's see, that's it apart. We go to the joint here where you want to put it back together. You can see it just slides it right back on there. Get it one side and then we get the other. Apologize here. I'm trying to just to slide back on. My hands are kind of shaking more than I want to. As I've told you guys before, I have some spinal problems and I've had surgery. And since the surgery, my hands tend to shake a lot. It's just my nerves are really offset. So, I do apologize for that. And let's put the we got the hand on there. And I'm going to put the the old screw in. Or the screw back in there, excuse me. We're going to twist that just a little bit to get it started. Be 
put screw it back in probably wouldn't hurt to if you really want to put the cover back on first but it's your choice you can either put it on beforehand or you can put it in after after you get the screw pegged in oh, screw back in just to make sure you don't lose the fingers and stuff I probably should have done that myself but there right back in real easy next we're going to go back to prime Try to readjust this. Okay. There we go. We take the new joint. We're going to slide it. And if I can line the hole back up. There we go. And I'm actually going to go ahead and close this to help keep it steady for me. Put the washer back in there. Now we put the, the screw, which I don't, if you were to separate them like I have, you got two little small screws, so I don't really think it matters which one you use on this, but if I got the wrong one here, I can always change it back over. Let's get this in there. Let's stay at work with me. and make sure it's in there good and there we go nice and tight and there's prime with his new hand you can see it's a good difference better difference more articulation and it does still at least it should still transform i haven't tried yet personally but we're about to see Plug it out. There we go. And I got the fingers not all the way up. Make it a fist and rotate it. You might have a. This does have a little bit since it's a little bit bigger. You might have to like pull it a little bit or adjust it, work with it a little bit. You know, what I'm trying to do. I'm scared I'm actually going to break it that way. Let's try it back the other way. I might be. I still got the fingers all in there, right? But anyhow, we just won't worry about that because I don't want to push, put too much pressure and show me breaking them on the camera. But, but there's his new, new hand. One thing I have to admit I really like about it is the. There's not much color difference. I mean, it's, if you look at them like that. It really is pretty much the same color, so it doesn't lose anything to the the scheme. But you can do anything with it. You ha again, also before we get too much further, let's oh, come on there. Let's look at his old new gun compared to his old one. This is the old gun. This is the new gun. As you can see substantially bigger also really cool design because it's still keeping the original black scheme with the gold trim like what prime is like prime has really cool and it also has the tabs in it so shouldn't have a problem holding it and we're going to have prime hold his new rifle or at least try to let's get the fingers articulated right Okay, come on now. There we go. I'm missing a peg hole somehow there. Let's see. There we go. I can see it now. I think I don't think I got it screwed all the way down. I think it's still a little bit loose. I'm missing that. Apologize. Bear with me with this. I didn't quite have it tightened enough. Still showed a little bit of looseness there. But let's try it this way. Oh, hold on. 
get his fingers, adjust it all the way, get his thumb all the way. I'm just going to slice the thumb that way anyway, I can see better. Alright. Well, come on now. Well, you can't say I don't do these things live, which I'm all prime. I think it's because my hands are shaking so bad, guys, I can't keep my, keep it steady enough. There we go. There we go. We got them now. Arrgh. Well, we had it. Uh, but we'll just let you deal with that. Um... I'm also going to show, compare this new, the new gun to some of the older stuff. This was the gun I got from the upgrade kit that come with Roller. The, this is basically a Magnus rifle. The Magnus rifle is bigger, but still pretty cool. One other rifle I'm going to bring in is MP01's rifle. Just to show a comparison, it's actually really close to MP01 size. As you can see there, not much bigger than MP01 is, I mean. But still pretty cool. But again, guys, and like most people know, you know, on these guys, they they complain. Well, it's not articulated. Well, because they all want them to basically sit there and do, you know, have them come up. I think I got the hand too tight now. I have to work on that, I guess. Now you can have prime flipping somebody off. If you really want to, which mine I don't keep mine like that. I don't know why people like to do that, but eh, there you go. You know you can do that with this new these new hands. But I will post a link to where I got this kit from, Captured Prey. Though I'm sure you guys could find it cheaper. Uh, when I was looking for it, I actually couldn't find it anywhere else. And when I got to Captured Prey. I saw they had it, and I was like, screw it, I'll get it. Because I couldn't find, like I said, I couldn't find it anywhere else. And of course, like two days later, I found it somewhere else for just a few bucks cheaper. And I was like, eh, of course, that crap happens. But this is Dynamo saying thanks for watching. I hope, as always, guys, I hope you like this video, comment on it, and share it. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. And it's, I'd rather probably not be effing you, flipping you off as you leave, but... I want to get that out of the way. Well, let's try it. Let's have them say. Let's try to see if I can get them to do it. I got. I need to loosen that just a tad. Still kind of tight. Let's have them do live long and prosper. But as Prime says, live long and prosper. Thanks, Adama. Saying thanks for watching. Hope to hear from you guys soon.